And if it had not been for dope, I'd be dead now. If you can imagine. Can you imagine hitting your ass at 52? My next book's about this. I was sitting down here at a place that used to be called Tiki Junction. Uh, and I had a railroad car there, a beautiful railroad car. Okay, and I'm, I'm trying to get through this son of a book, right? Okay, now, it's 1968. And I've been working for five years direct, you know? And I'm in trouble, you know? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm terrified, huh? I'm, I'm drinking so hard. Uh, if, you, if you got a, a sort of an inherent depression in your heart and booze on top of that, uh, terrified. So I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it right. You know. And and, and uh, my friend came by with some grass. Um, this this was the wife of a, a man who had been my mate going to Tahiti and back. Beautiful woman, red Africa. And she comes by each morning. We have some tea. And she said, Sterling. Uh, she said, yeah, You know what you're doing, don't you? I said, Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm drinking myself to death. Yeah. She said, What about grass? And I said, Well, you know, I've talked about it. You know, I've thought about it, but. Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe when I get through this book, you know, that's, that must be another trip, you know. So, but she said, I would like to leave some with you. So she left, you know, a little, uh, little wrapper, you know, and a, and a clay pipe, you know, 15 cent clay pipe. Three months go by, and I keep busting my ass. And, and finally, one afternoon, I think, uh, maybe I'll smoke a little. Huh? So, uh, so uh, I got the pipe out, and, and uh, oh, I did a funny thing. I went outside, I took my Volkswagen, I moved the Volkswagen about, you know, 500 yards to some new place. I come back in, I pull down all the blinds, I leave a note to myself where the Volkswagen is <laughs> and where the keys are, huh? And I sit down at the age of 52, huh? Huh? And I start to smoke. And, and uh, I guess I smoked an uh, hour and a half, two hours. Nothing happens, you know? The usual feeling that our friends say to us. And nothing happens. And I think, well, it's four o'clock, it's time for a little red wine, you know? So I get up. And I head back toward the galley in, 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 my, in my rail car, where the wine is. And so I think, well, I, I anyway, I didn't take a drink. I didn't. I went back, and and, uh, and it went very well, of course, you know. And the very next morning, um, I was so entranced huh, by the emotion, by the experience, that I began to keep a log, you know, began to keep a diary, you know. I I put down the time, you know, and and uh, I put down whatever I was feeling. You know? I've got I've got thirty seven of those books, and I just you know, put down what I felt, you know. Uh, Different colored pen. I kept changing colors, you know, to differentiate huh, uh, the thoughts. Yeah.